Hi guys, it's Trisha, aka Motley Girl, and welcome to my channel. I thought I'd drop in and go over some of my favorite items that I got in September. And the reason I'm doing this is because I feel like September was the only month this year where I got some products that I just could not believe were so good. So I thought, well, now is as good as at any time to start a favorites video, right? So we're gonna do a September favorite, starting off with Candy Johnson's collection, which she did with Too Faced. Now, I don't really care for Too Faced. I think their products are really hit or miss. I wasn't too sure if I was gonna get this or not, but I had to because Candy's my girl. She was the very first person I watched on YouTube as far as beauty gurus go. I love her to death, and so I figured I'd give it a try, and if it wasn't all that it was cracked up to be, I could always return it. But I didn't, I have it, and I actually really, really like it. Um, it's the I Want Candy palette. I love how she designed it. It's a little bit raised like a candy, like a tin candy box. When you open it up, it has this kind of like wax paper instead of your normal uh, piece of plastic to protect the shadows. Let's see if I can get it out and show you guys the palette. I did do a review on this, so you've probably seen it before, but I just want to show you guys again all these colors. You can see that I've I've used this quite a bit. Um, a couple colors in here are really, really, truly amazing. Woo! Um, the Sugar Plum, which is a shimmer, is super fun to play with. Sugared Strawberry is also a shimmer that I love. We have Sweet Toffee, Frosted Pink, Hot Chocolate, Licorice Rope. I mean, basically all the colors in here are super easy to work with. They're super cute and they're really blendable and all of these down here are great bases and you can make lots of different looks with the colors that she chose so this is one of my favorites from september which is her palette and i have two more favorites from her collection actually one being her eyeliner i think this is really cool this is really kind of retro looking you twist this off and there's the eyeliner. It's the little eyeliner. It's not really a brush because it's hard, but it works super well. And I actually went and got another one of these because I really, really, really liked it. And it's limited edition. And I think by now everything has been sold out. And the last item that I really enjoyed from her collection is the I Want Candy Glow. This is a highlighting stick, and it's kind of messy. Um, it's very creamy, and what I do is I usually just bounce it on my face. It smells so freaking good, like I can't even take it. And it gives you such a beautiful glow. But then it also kind of gets a little bit messy there see how it's kind of melted it is pretty warm in my house so that might be it so then I just kind of go down and then I push it back in that's the only downside about it is that it does get mushy and melty so Candy Johnson faves for September I'm just going in order actually of how I received them because I don't, I can't really pick a favorite favorite, you know? I mean, I can actually, and, and I'll do that one last. But anyway, let's move that out just a little bit. Next up, we have the Huda Desert Dusk Palettes. Pricey palette, I know, I believe it's somewhere in the $62 range. But believe me, it is well worth it. Comes with a mirror and, and comes with a cute little eye 
plastic piece to to protect the um, shadows, which I think is better than just plain old plastic. I like I do like to keep these to protect the shadows, especially with a palette like this. Um, you can see I've really dug into a lot of these colors. The I makeup that I'm wearing today is from this palette and I used this color, this color, this color, this color, this color, and this color. I like to use a lot of colors when I do my eyeshadow looks. So definitely to me this is worth uh, the $62. I believe this is still available. So, if you want it, go out and get it. It is great. I will not steer you in the wrong direction. Next up, we have something that is really amazing, but totally outrageous. Uh, the Natasha Denona Lila palette. Sure, you guys have seen this. Sure, you guys have heard a lot about it. This ranges, this is in the 120 something dollar range, I believe. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. I The first time I opened it, I was like, oh my God, these eyeshadows look like suede. And then I tried it and I wasn't very impressed. But then since I've received it, I just keep going back for it. You can see how much I have used this palette. I'm just like digging and digging in there. And it's just because I am a huge fan of magentas and purples and the, the, the <laughs> I just can't even talk when I look at this palette. The, you know, the rusty grungy colors and even that gold. It's just a really pretty palette. The colors go on amazingly. No complaints about that. It's a shame that it's so freaking expensive, but hey, you get what you pay for. And I also like how it has the plastic that's attached. And when you put it over the eyeshadows, it tells you what the colors are. So my, my favorite colors are surprisingly Amethyst Magnetic, which is kind of the magenta color. Per Per pure, which is also a uh, purpley magenta, and then viola up here, and this livid color down here. I mean, I really pretty much just love them all, and I love this purple kind of suede case. It just feels expensive, and it looks expensive, and um, the purple, a little bit of the purple in this look is from this palette the purple that matches the case, I guess. Whew! So that's a big one. Um, I believe it is still available if you guys are into this. It's really, really good, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. And let's see, let's stick this one in here really quick because I did get it in September. This is the Jeffree Star lip topper that he collab collabed with Jouer it smells super good and it's just it's super cute I, lo I love pink glittery stuff so what can i say right now i'm wearing androgyny by jeffree star so let's see what it looks like on top of androgyny it smells like cupcakes and it looks cute see this lip top topper actually looks really cute over every lipstick i've tried it on can't go wrong. I believe 100% of the of the uh, profit goes to charity. That's what Jeffrey wanted, and why not? Why not? I think it was $16, 16, 18. I think it was 16. Now, last but not least, my favorite for September, we have surprise, surprise, Kat Von D's Saint and Sinner palette. This is an amazing piece of art. Even if you don't like Kat Von D, you can't deny that this is a beautifully designed palette. One side is the Saints, one side is the Sinner. Now I haven't really gotten a chance to use this too much because I've been using Natasha and Huda, but you can see this color right here. Oh my God, it's amazing. 
It doesn't even look like that when you put it on. It's kind of like a two-tone, um, I forget what they call it, but it like, kind of looks like that greenish teal, but then it also turns really dark when you, when you move your head. It's like a shimmery, shimmery weird transition color, and it's called Vestment. But um, all of these, I swatched all of the colors one day and they are all super pretty. They're super pigmented and I can't wait to do more looks with this palette. I think I've only done one. I mean, up on top, those two shimmers are just so pretty. When you open it up, I love the way she did the mirrors and I just love the way she designed it. This is Sinner, this is Saint. But either way, both sides are super pretty. So that's really about it for my September favorites. I know they were mostly eyeshadow palettes. Um, I did get a sample of the Fenty Foundation from Sephora. They sent it to me, but it was about two to three shades darker than my skin. And I'm actually wearing it right now. I did mix in some Wet n Wild lighter shade foundation with it, but I did put it on by itself first, and I actually really liked it. I thought it had very nice coverage, and it dried down quick. It didn't really do anything bad to my skin. I'm not really a huge foundation person. I don't have problems with foundation. like. You could probably throw any foundation at me and I could put it on and it'll work out for me because my skin is just normal. It's not oily, it's not dry, it's just totally normal skin. And I don't have a lot of imperfections to cover up. I'm super lucky like that. So anything light, medium, full coverage is fine with me. But anyway, like I said, I would recommend the Fenty foundation uh, in the correct color. So I might actually pick that up once I come into some money. Um, because you guys know how that goes. Anyway, those are my September favorites. And if you guys have any questions about the products, remember, leave comments down below. I'll be happy to answer your questions. Let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Please like this video, share it if you feel like it, and I don't know, I think that's about it. I hope you guys had a great September. I'm super excited that it's October because I love Halloween, so hopefully I will be doing more videos in October about Halloween. Maybe I'll even try my hand at some Halloween makeup, and we'll see how that goes. So. I hope you guys are having a great day, afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks a lot for watching.